Yo, what is going on guys, Monster here, and today I'm coming out with a brand new video, and on this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Pokemobot, because woo -woo, they finally have updated it. So as you guys know, go down into the, or in the description down below, there's going to be this link right here, click it, and then once you guys get on this page, click free download. Now it's going to be, you're going to have to wait like 30 seconds, and it's going to ask you to enter in a couple of letters, enter in those couple of letters, and it will allow you to download it, but since I already downloaded it, I'll make the video a little bit quicker so we have our file right here all you guys are going to do is go ahead and extract the file and then drag and drop ignore these other I guess I have a little bit of video files right here but ignore those those are for a later date so once you guys are into here go ahead and start up the bot allow it to run and it might ask you to let it, I don't know, that's when you start up the um, bot later. So once you guys do that, it should open up this folder automatically for you. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't, go into the config file right here that it just created, the config folder, and then enter in the authentication information. How you guys are going to do this is you either type in PTC or Google right there. And then you type in quote, quotation mark, username, not at Gmail, just username and then you type quote password quote and then you guys will go ahead and click save and you guys will be good now let me come drag and drop my original authentication file so that we don't have to pause the video at all because that has my username and password on it so now I won't even have to edit that out now you guys are gonna come to config and config this to your liking guys I say this in every video but for some reason you guys get mad at me don't listen to me and stuff like that and you guys will get mad when your high CP Pokemon get transferred right so listen to me on the go into the config file and edit this to how you want it it shouldn't trade all your Pokemon like it did last time even though I did it still warn you guys okay this what this should do is it, it's not the XP config, so it's not just going to upgrade or evolve and um, transfer every single Pokemon it finds, okay? So you guys should be pretty good. You guys probably won't get too mad from this. But basically, here are all your options. There's so much stuff to choose from. This, um, this also has sniping in it, and if you guys do want to snipe, listen to me. Don't comment down below, how do we allow this to snipe? You type in true right here where it says snipe at pokestops you guys type in true right there that's exactly how you snipe and the minimum pokeballs you need to snipe is 20 that means that you once you have 20 pokeballs you'll start sniping at the next pokestop that you stop at and the minimum pokeballs while sniping you need to have five or it's going to stop and go to pokestops again and collect pokeballs okay so then once it stops sniping it's going to go collecting pokeballs at pokestops until you have 20 and then you can go back and start sniping again now what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to make a config file for you guys because this is highly requested to get tons of XP and if I find one I'll also share that with you guys too but I'm gonna make my own and hopefully we can get a good amount of XP from it I'm not too sure how good mine's gonna be but I'm gonna try and make mine the best and see if I can help you guys out so watch for that video later leave all this stuff alone this is stuff that shouldn't be edited at all um, I'm pretty sure this is something that gets sent to the servers to make it actually seem like we're on a phone type thing so just leave that all alone and you guys can pretty much just edit everything below this to your likings and then obviously once you're done you can click save and then you guys can go ahead and start up the bot now once you guys start up the bot it might request for firewall or some security thing like that but I think since I already allowed it on my other bot I don't think it's gonna do that yet but if it does just go ahead and um, let it give it permission or whatever and you guys will be good this also does automatically incubate eggs and has them and everything so you you guys will be good on that i just ran out of breath so as you can see this bot does work it's um starting to snipe because we stopped at a poke stop and i have that enabled called a polywag it catches pokemon it transfers them and everything else like that so this pokemon bot is awesome i really love enjoying or i really love using this i the, like the top two favorite that i have is pokemon bot and necro probably so depending on what you guys want to use leave a comment down below what your favorite bot is and i'll check it out and see what everybody likes but anyway guys that's good be it for this video so i hope you guys did enjoy can we smash that like button and let's try to get i'm gonna raise the cap i'm gonna raise it i'm gonna raise it can we get 
750 likes on this video that's 250 more than the last one we did and on that video we had a thousand likes which is insane so can we get 750 likes that would mean a lot to me guys i would be super happy but anyway guys that's going to be it for this video so if you guys do want to see some more pokemon go content please hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below if you guys got any questions and tell me what your favorite bot is and leave a like down below so we can try to hit that goal but anyway guys i'll talk to you guys later peace out